So I think what I want to do, let's get rid of that old file there. Um, cargo new. Um, let's create a new roguelike. Or just, just try to see what it would take to get a, a roguelike going. Um, we can kill this guy, right? Do I have trunk installed? I do not. Okay, so maybe I just need to install that. Get that moving uh, in the background. So what we can do is there's bracket lib. Oh yeah, this is something I want to do. Um, and maybe we can start this tomorrow. Um, this is this is not a port, though. This would not be a port. This is using Rust to write an operating system. So it would just be basically copying pasting code or typing it in, just like we did with the Rust tutorial. Um, but let's take a look at bracket. Oh, yes, and don't forget, there's still one more bug I need to fix in crafting interpreters. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Okay, so bracket lib. Um, hmm. Okay, so let's do this. So what happened to RLTK? So yeah, let's just cargo new. Um, Naming is hard. I'm just trying to think of a good name for uh, whatever this roguelike would be. Prog RL. I don't know. Uh, and then we can say cargo add bracket lib. All right, this is the new cargo add thing that was added to um, the, the most recent version of Rust. My, my poor CPU is overheating over here, installing trunk. Yeah, there's a lot to trunk, isn't there? Mugafa says, yeah, going through a tutorial, you don't get the whole picture until the end. That's, that's true. That's true, you know, some tutorials will start with, here's where we're going, and then it'll take you step by step on the way to get there, but doesn't, it, they don't always logically describe why why it was broken down that way, and maybe that's because you know that would be people would skip that, right? Let's let's get right to the code, rather than okay, here's the code blocks we want to implement. Um, here's the here's the um, architecture we're going to be doing, and people just say oh, okay, next 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 next, let's get to writing some code. Um, Because yeah, even even this uh, Rust roguelike tutorial that we went through, um, still is still it starts it starts off you know from scratch. So you, you get like you know from a clean slate all the way to a roguelike, but not everything is explained in terms of where we're going. It's just, it's just saying okay, here's what we're going to do now, and not explaining why, just what. All right, I'm just stalling for time while Trunk finishes trunking. All right, so cargo trunk. Um, let's pull that up. I think all I need to do is... <laughs> uh, there we go. Um, there's the link to the... Isn't there usually like API thing here? What am I missing? Examples. I, I just want to, you know what? We could probably just copy the RLTK on, oops, RL. Um, oh, I just called it RT, right? And we can just edit that, right? Get rid of this stuff. Because this is the stuff that Trunk adds for us. And just leave the canvas in there. Right? And then I can say cargo add. Oh, I already did cargo add bracket lib. Right? And then all we need to do is... Um, we, I guess we could set up like a basic main loop. Where's, where did I put my bracket lib? Oh, we could, we could steal it from here. Let's steal it from here. Right? 
This is just a basic main loop. Let's copy that and shove it right in here. Boom, done. Um, except I want to use bracket loop, right? And then prelude. I think that's all we need to do. Hmm, is this where this comes from? Or is this, there another? Yeah. Um, maybe that comes out of the uh, prelude. That's fine. Oh, and then main loop needs to change also. I don't know where B error comes from. Let's find out before I just randomly change things. Dark Elf Plaza. This guy here. Um, no, I want to look at the API. Uh, libs.rs. There we go. And API reference. There we go. So I would, all I'm looking for is main loop. Yeah, it comes right out of the prelude. Okay, so we can just ignore all that. And then what about simple 80 by 50? It's in B-Term Builder. Okay, let's see if that works. Nope. Oh, and then RLTK, so tick. B term and then B error no no longer exists what is this supposed to return can I just do this does it come out of the prelude too yes okay that's good all right and then so what I want to do um, now that this is up and running, is it, was there a hello world in there? No, it's just title. Okay. Oh yeah. Hello rust world. Okay. So it's right there. So if I say over here now, prog RL, I can say cargo, uh, trunk serve. And that should throw together. Remember before with, with our roguelike, I had this whole wasm build thing and this is what trunk supposed to do for me oh right i need to grab the different features right where's the feature flags um rt uh i wonder if i have to put this features equals 30 on here but i remember we had to add get random Right? What is this looking for here? I might need the JS feature. And I don't see WASM here with the JS feature. Oh, is that something I have to add to? Hmm. Okay, so let's grab get random at, at a minimum. Right. Let's see if that's all we need. Maybe this maybe that's all we needed. I think that we we'd need to add the Surdy feature to bracket lib if we're going to save the save the games. Or serialize out the the um, components. Um, but if you saw my my stream on using the roguelike tutorial, you know that serializing the components is a big pain. There's a lot of boilerplate that has to go along with that. All right, this seems to be working. All right. Um, I'm missing something though. Where's the link to the... Uh... Did I not do a chunk serve? There's the install. What did I do wrong? 
Yeah, trunk serve. So where's the link? Oh, here it is. I wonder why it's there instead of after it does all the work. Okay, let's find out. If this is working, we can go here. Yeah, okay, so now we have in our browser, um, you know what I'm missing is, oops, I don't want mail. I had mail show up. Um, no, I don't want that either. I, I wanted the console, where's the console? More tools, that's it. Developer tools, console. Okay. Um, huh. Okay. So that's, I mean, things seem to be going okay. We just need to be able to take input and all that kind of stuff. But I think, I think this is the environment we want now, right? Is before we had been building, I don't know if you saw the tutorial, but it says you have to build Um, maybe it's on the previous page. Yeah, so you add this target and, and do all this and then cargo build. And so that's what we were doing with, I had a script, build.sh, which, which would build it for, oh, I should probably do a release build, right? We had problems with the debug build being way too slow. Um, and then running wasm bind gen and creating that index.html and all that kind of stuff. And then trunk serve does all that for us. Um, and we can look in the dist. So it's, this is handled here. In fact, the index is different, right? Yeah. So it, this is what my index looks like, right? And then added this stuff here and then all of this stuff. So um, it allows us to do auto reload. So if I ch make a change to the code, let's let's do that. Source main introduction to uh, programmable Rust like, And then it should rebuild automatically. You can see that down here in the window there, and then it just reloads and then it's running. So that saves, I don't know, a few seconds here and there, but it's kind of nice. Um, I don't know if, yeah, Clippy doesn't, it's not enough for Clippy to work on. I don't know how much this does in terms of cargo check. That's stuff I have to learn. Okay, so. The only, now the only thing I'm concerned about is performance. Can I say trunk serve release or trunk release serve? Trunk help serve. Those are the features. Okay, so there is release. So I can say trunk serve release. And that'll rebuild all of bracket lib in release mode. Oh, right. And then the other thing I wanted to do was uh, enable an incremental rebuild on release build. So Rust incremental compilation release. And that came in 152. Uh, incremental compilation off for, by default release build, so few productions should be affected. Oh, th that was a bug. There was a bug, right? Th this is true, right? If I'm doing a production release, I, I, I want to build from scratch. But if I'm just doing a uh, dev release that I need to run in release mode because the optimizations are needed, then... Um, that's okay, because if it fails, I can just do a clean and then a build. Uh, incremental. I'm, I'm just trying to look up the, the, the syntax for it, because I don't know where that is. 
I think yeah, I I know it goes in the cargo tunnel. And it's probably like build release incremental equals true. I'm just guessing. It didn't complain. Yeah, unused manifest key build. Um, maybe it's release build. Unused manifest key release. Okay. So Rust. Yeah. But it doesn't say how to do it. Yeah, so incremental builds were there was some turnoff thing. Right? It was disabled. Build dot incremental. Or is, isn't there one for release? For a given profile. Okay. But that doesn't make sense because. Right? Oh, profile.dev. Ah. Maybe like that. Didn't complain. There was no error there. Okay. And I think that might affect this one too, right? Because I did a dash dash release on it. So. Oh, pro this is profile dev. I want profile dot release. Let me let this finish building. Right, and then I'll edit this, and I'll just say profile release like that, and then I'll touch main. That'll rebuild here in one second. And then let me build this. Yeah, 1.36 seconds. Okay. I, I don't know if that's incremental or not, but it, it's not complaining. So, uh, git add dot. Right? Let's do this. Oh, I don't want to add dis, right? Git ignore. Get RM dist. Oops. Use cache to keep the file or F to force removal. Um, okay. I think that's what we want. And then, oh, get had. Okay. <clears throat> Initial setup. And then let's create a new repo. Let's do that off screen. <clears throat> Just in case. Passwords are revealed. GitHub.com. Let's go to 